Look at it again. Okay, so I'm gonna pull it out again. And we're just going to run our finger across it. Thumb works good. See how it rolls up? I just want to roll all that off. I can apply some pressure. There we go. Now we can leave small amounts of paper on there, but it will contaminate your etchant. Back and forth seems to work pretty good. Probably should have a paper towel or two handy at this step. I'm just going to dip it in, get it wet, get some of that paper off there. Now I'm just getting a little smaller little balls little rolls forming I'm not pushing too hard but enough to get that paper to move and I see how the toothbrush helps pull some of that off Don't push too hard. This toothbrush has one of those little rubber inserts. I don't really recommend you use that. I'm trying to get to stick to the bristles. It's the only toothbrush I had. There. I don't know if you can see this but it's starting to get shiny and that's the coating that's the layer I'm looking for I'm not setting this board down on the the chopping block because it could uh, could be firm enough to damage the traces. So I'm keeping it in my hand. I'm starting to get real shiny. It's getting very slippery. Half the board's almost done. We're seven minutes in to the cleaning process. I can imagine uh, soaking them overnight might make it real easy. Okay. Let's 
going to lose its glossiness when I dry it, but uh, you're going to have that finish we're looking for. Tends to turn a little kind of dried. If you, yeah, the spots, see, those will it'll dry off. And it'll look kind of dull. But that means it's clean. So that's side one, the back side. Okay, the front side of the board. Same process. It goes just a little quicker, but be patient. There was a lot of paper attached to the board. On this side, it's mostly to this thin traces, so paper seems to come off a little easier. Now, this is where the toothbrush really comes in because you want to get all of those little fibers. All around the pads. See that little round spot right there? It didn't adhere, but I can touch that up. There's a little bubble there it formed. That's why the pressure is so important. You have a spot right at the end there. I can't tell what it is, what it is with the naked eye. I'll need a magnifying glass. Could be in the material. A couple little dots, dots here that shouldn't interfere with anything. And then we'll have to touch up that one air there. The rest of the traces look pretty good.